Welcome to DeadSec. Bigger, stronger, badder than ever. Yes, I'm so ready to help out the cause. Brilliant. Well, fuck me, you're still alive. I owe been a tenor. Not only that, but your resistance handiwork just opened up a whole new source of information. So now I spy with my hypothetical eye something interesting at the Ministry of Civic Management. What is it? The Signals Intelligence Response Service, or SIRS, or the Old Grey Gestapo, have developed a surveillance technology called AR Reconstruction. It's the bleeding edge of privacy rights violation, and thus it could be very useful in our attempts to find Zero Day. I'm here. In theory, the AR reconstruction should allow me to use various sources of surveillance data to rebuild past events. Access a data relay, and I can scrape all the metadata for this area. Let's take this autocratic wet dream for a test drive. CTOS AR, data reconstruction in progress. It's fascinating if you ignore the fact that they're always watching us. 
You're right, we definitely need this extremely cool thing I want for investigating Zero Day. Shit, for some reason I can't clone it to our servers. All right, access the network here and let's see if we can't find out where to nick one. Located the CTOS hub. Aha! The SIRS has deployed this technology at their HQ, and I've just nabbed their manual on how to set up the system. Now, Scarpa, you can't steal their toy if they throw you in the gulag. So how are we supposed to get this AR tech, Bagley? The program is hosted on a server that's on the roof of SIRS HQ. All you have to do is grab the whole thing, then take it to a few high-density locations so I can recalibrate it to the Deadset network and clone my own version. Quick question, how do I get the server off the roof? We need to find someone with access to a cargo or construction drone that can fly it off of there. Perfect opportunity to recruit a heavy lifter to the cause, I'd say. Right, any idea where I can find this heavy lifter, Bagley? Well, let's put our thinking caps on, shall we? Now, who in London would have access to a construction drone? Could it be a construction worker? Yeah, I got that, Bags. Not so hard, was it? There's an active construction yard nearby. I dare say you'll probably be able to find a construction worker to recruit there. Here's the coordinates. Beastly drone friend. I mean, the person looks efficient too. Occupation? Check. Drone? Check. This could be the one. They look promising. Uh -huh. Occupation? Check. Drone? Check. This could be the one. Oh, they have a beastly drone friend. I mean, the person looks efficient too. They look promising. Are you interested in helping London? Shit, are you saying you're dead sick? I could really use your help. We'll do our best to help out. What's your problem? Well, I'm fucking stupid is the main thing. I had a medical issue that, of course, our completely gutted NHS doesn't cover. So I went to Clan Kelly and, long story short, now I'm a slave. Do me a solid and free me. All right, we'll look into it. Kelly will bleed our new friend dry if we don't do something. This particular construction site is a money laundering front for a Kelly chapter out of Camden Market. Any record of the debt would be stored there. Read you loud and clear. taken over the market. It's actually oh, really scary. When did they get this big? You're looking for a terminal or some kind of device that Clan Kelly would have stored the debt records on. Don't have the right tool for the job? You can exchange your gadget for a different one that's better suited to the situation. While the drones observing your every move might make you feel like you're living in a city-shaped prison, what's bad news for society is good news for DedSec. You can hack those nosy little buggers and use them to scour ahead.
I'll keep Moving looking. On. Drone, start searching. Yeah, Moving no on. one here, but I'll keep looking. There's jack shit going on here. Move it on. Go! all record of that debt, putting our new friend back into the black and, more importantly, out of Clan Kelly's reach. Brilliant. Transfer complete. Ah, cannabis and fentanyl together at last through the miracle of genetics. Those are drugs, right? Yeah, they are. I need that.
congratulations. You are officially debt-free. We wiped all traces with Clan Kelly. You can do whatever you like now. Wait a minute. You don't seem like terrorists at all. Did the state control media lie to me? But seriously, thank you. Hey, you know what? You're exactly the kind of person DedSec is looking for. You should join us. It's fun. Yeah, all right. Fuck it. DedSec resurgence have prompted Parliament to approve the use of lethal force for Albion contractors. CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. DedSec terrorists will quickly find that Albion, unlike the police force of this city, is battle-tested and proven in the field. The Prime Minister's office has called this shoot-to-kill mandate a drastic but necessary Crazy out there, right? to make London safe. Here, your new optic. Guess this is the moment of truth, yeah? Feels like signing up means kissing my normal life goodbye. What's normal? The government's literally letting Albion shoot us in the streets. Yeah, I know it's a hellscape. I'm not blind to that. Just let me say goodbye to everything I care about. You're not leaving anything behind. You're helping to make the world a better and safer place. Yeah. You're right. Let's go. Welcome to the Resistance. Right. Welcome aboard, etc., etc. I'll give you the speech later. Right now, we need you and your big, strong drone friend to get on top of SIRS HQ and steal a server. Think you can handle that? Right. Going now. All right, we're here. I'll highlight the server with the AR reconstruction software. It's out of reach, so you'll need to use a heavy cargo drone to steal it. What? Alright, server's loaded up. I suppose you got it from here. Oh, and um, don't blow up. Don't worry, I passed my driving test with flying colours.
CTOSAR. Data reconstruction in progress. This will do. Remain in the area until I've downloaded enough data to the server. Download complete. I need a wider sample of data, so I'm pushing you the coordinates to a new location. Infrastructure, nearby CTOS drones, civilian optics, CCTV, and then it assembles those scraps into what happened in this location 24 hours ago. Fantastic! Auto drive now enabled. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. All right. Scraping data from optics, CTOS cameras, microphones, laptops. Say, do you reckon SRS uses this to watch people shag? Fucking hell. Do they use it for anything but watching people shag? Uh, Bagley, we have company. Well, shit. Can you do anything to lose your new friends? Maybe invite them to a pottery night or overshare something personal. Whatever you do, just get to the last location in one piece. Jesus. All right, fine. Transfer complete. I'm missing one last data set. Pushing you the coordinates to the location now. Auto drive now enabled.
CTOSAR. Data reconstruction in progress. Help bags, they're still on me. Don't let the drones destroy the server before I'm done. Get out of the lorry and take care of them. Shoot them, throw rocks at them, destroy them psychologically with cyberbullying. Just keep them busy until the transfer is complete. Again. The suspect was right there and updating patient. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, oh fuck. Staying down. server forever. Stop. We should probably wipe our prints off it anyway. Go on. I'll overload the CPUs to cause a power spike and destroy the battery unit. The electromagnetic pulse should destroy both the server and the drone. Ah! So, you know, run! fun, wasn't it? Being pulled off a heist, made life a bit harder for the tyrants of the world, and most importantly, I got a new toy to play with. Now, run along back to the safe house. Sabine wants you and your new teammates for a briefing. Well done, team. It's good to see the safe house filling up again. The only way we're going to keep London from falling into total oppression is by rebuilding the resistance. We need to recruit, train, build back our arsenal. The people are itching to rise up and take their city back. We just need to show them that DedSec are fighting along with them. I'm in. I want to take on the profiteers exploiting London for their own gain. Albion PMCs have occupied this city. Anyone they don't like gets locked up and beaten. And meanwhile, the Clan Kelly criminals hide in the shadows, and Albion does nothing about it. Fair, but remember that this zero-day hacker group is still out there. They took out DedSec once, and it's a good bet they'll try again. I believe they were responsible for the bombings and framed DedSec. With your help, I plan to get to the bottom of this mystery. I'd say that's a full docket. Enough talk. Let's unfuck London. lead that may help us unravel more about Zero Day and the bombings we ate shit for. I've picked up an encrypted signal from the Tone Conference site that's been broadcasting on a loop since the night of the bombing. Go investigate. You might even get to try out that fancy new AR tech we stole. I mean, creatively shared. You'll fit right in. The more people willing to fight the system, the better. Thank you. I'm ready for action. Brill. Right, you to go. Fuck 
intercept. aftermath of the bombing, thinking about everyone who died. Yeah, so why does it look like the bad guys left from the spy shop? I'm just saying there's a lot of security for a repair job. Excellent point. Bagley, let's get this done. What am I looking for? Any kind of device or component that could still be emitting the signal. It seems to be coming from within the rubble. Fuck? This is it. The signal is coming from this spider bot fragment. No indication yet who it belongs to. Not much left of it. Why would it be here? Difficult to say, but with an AR reconstruction, we may be able to see what happened to it and if it relates to the attack. Access data relays in the vicinity, and I can compile enough data to build the AR reconstruction. relays to go.
more data relay and I'll have it. Take the audio from this stream and the video from these 36 and got it. Go back to where you found that spider bot and I'll show you the AR reconstruction from the night of the explosion. Message received. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. You brought the payload? Fuck, think we'd go back here? Don't trust the Kelly dog. <laughs> Kelly? As in Clan Kelly? Why would mobsters want to bomb the city? Oh, I've seen this on my murder shows. It's like a handoff. Kelly's are just their suppliers. Well, who was that woman they met with? You don't think she was from Zero Day? Well, don't just stand there. Keep looking. Bagley, can you see who was controlling the spider bot? I've now fully decrypted the signal the spider bot is broadcasting. And while I cannot identify a specific user, it is a call code used by the Metropolitan Police Service. Hold on, the police watched this happen? The reconstruction continues behind that rubble. Brilliant. Suppose I'll just quantum tunnel through all this. Quantum tunnel technology is at least ten years away, but spider bots and drones are here today. You could try one of those if you don't feel like waiting. Not a bad idea. human eyeballs of yours at the van's cargo. Acknowledged. RDX Nitrogen and the exact same detonator system like the bombs that were planted at Parliament. Zero day. Yeah, hurry. We've got all the delivery. In Tristan, find! So you were hired to supply all the targets? Got it. We're all on need to know. Zero Day somehow got multiple organizations involved. I see. That's certainly one way to pull off a massive coordinated attack while remaining anonymous. Zero Day needed manpower and resources, but they needed them at an arm's length. And it doesn't take the world's greatest AI detective to see that both Clan Kelly and Albion benefited in the aftermath. Unfortunately, this is the most we can get out of the AR reconstruction. But if we could find the mystery officer who was spying through the spider bot, maybe they could tell us more.
tracing the Spinobot serial number it was assigned to New Scotland Yard three years ago. Perhaps more information about its user or its assignment will be available at the station. Something doesn't add up here. Cops were on the trail of the actual bombers, but nothing was announced to the public. The only way to know for sure is to investigate New Scotland Yard. I guess Albion has seized control of the station. And the entire police service. But don't worry, if you're not pleased with your privatised goon squad, just take your business across the street. I was never a fan of the cops, but this is so much worse. Not to worry, the only difference now is the uniform, assault weapons, and the fact they're motivated by profit over public service. Now, any record or information on the Spider-Bot will be further in. Oh. Oh. Control, we are unsighted of suspects. Over. Sadly, I can't arrest people for heavy breathing. Did they do anything else? Perhaps you should talk to them. Oh. Thank you so much. There we go. I think you just made a new friend. 
If Albion wanted to lock them up, they must be dangerous. And dangerous we can use. Correct. Same Spider-Bot, Bagley. According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of Spider-Bot from the Tone bombing site. Can you tell who owned it? Navigate the Spider-Bot from out of that room. I'll need a direct connection in order to learn more from our bisected friend. Copy that. Right. That opening right there looks like a good exit point. Right, get comfy. This spider bot might be broken and missing some of its legs, but it can still jump and fit through vents. That's a good way to get through the station undetected. That's a part of the remote detonator system from Parliament. If the Met, or Albion rather, actually analyzed it, they would see it wasn't dead sex handiwork at all. That's Dalton's mask. It must have been recovered from Parliament. It might be the only thing left of him now. decided they couldn't be trusted to do their jobs. Suddenly some corporation could clean up our streets better than the same police force we've had for who knows how long. When crime fighting is treated like a business, crime will never go away. Now, you've had a business, right? But don't tell me 
Make your way through this last bent path. Acquired. Scanning Spybot and accessing its internal drives. While I'm analyzing this data, you should make yourself scarce. Unless you'd like to explain to your new, heavily armed, privatized police force why you've broken into the station. Yeah, all right. The Spiderbot fragment you found has a satellite-based GPS module that regularly pushed its location to a specific ground station. Interesting. A secret location. We ought to check it out. Pushing you the ground station's coordinates. So, how do we get in? I'm detecting a surveillance network guarding a space under this bridge. If you can patch into it, perhaps you can take a look inside. The GPS history of the spider bot we recovered regularly pinged these coordinates. Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. No one would come here accidentally, that's for sure. A perfect place to plan a terrorist attack. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames. Looks like a rogue cop set up shop down here. Well, if Albion was stopping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. I wonder what led them to the tone bombing. The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, Former inspector now, since Albion's coup, the Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved, and they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I? Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these... Immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well... 
This will be my last entry, but I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. So Albion was working with Clan Kelly gangsters. I can't even say I'm surprised. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. We need to do something about these kidnappings. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. I say again, all units, we have reports of a hostile in your area. Over. Let's keep this by the book. Over. Fool! You can't have gone far. I've lost this Albion clan Kelly business leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And if Caitlin Lau's right, then this little nugget jumps Eyes to the open. front of the queue. It be anywhere. We have reason to believe a former DedSec operative may still be alive, but missing inside the EPC. Angel Lopez, not London born, but I won't hold that against him, unlike some others. Looks like Angel got caught up in the immigration roundup, which, ironically, may be the only reason he escaped Zero Day's DedSec purge. Anti-immigrant sentiment has grown in London since the bombings. Albion fuels it. It allows them to send anyone they want to their brutal refugee camp. We need to find Angel before they discover he's dead sick. This is kind of personal team. But finding his trail might just shed some light on the Albion Clan Kelly connection. Right. Well, if he's in the EPC, he won't be going anywhere anytime soon. But considering the state of that place, we should see what we can do. I've sent the details to your device and advised our contact at the EPC. They can get you inside. Oh, control to all units. Possible hostiles near your location. Understood, control. Awaiting further instruction. Over. Suspect is unsighted. Unsighted sweeping area. delved more into Caitlin Lau's investigation, and an enormous number of missing person cases center around the EPC. The inspector was definitely onto something. We better find our contact. The minute Albion finds out Angel is with us, they'll start squeezing him for intel. Hello there. Have you got an hour to set the world right? Yeah, always. You know what's fucked up? Just by stopping to chat with me, they put you on a list. But it doesn't have to be that way. Yo, you with dead sick? Hype, I need your help. Sure, maybe. What's up? Look, I've got this mate, yeah? We run, well, ran with some activists, like protesting Albion and that. Things turned to a clash last time we protested, and they kicked the shit out of my mate and shoved him in an ambulance. Then they fed us a load of bullshit. Said my mate died, but not one of us has seen a body, have we? Mate. I'm, I'm sorry, that's awful. 
It just didn't seem right, you know? Like, I just need some answers. You get me those answers, and I'll owe you a favor. Maybe even two. Yeah, that's not good. I'll see what we can do.